I'm Claude Thibault, editor of SortieJazzNights.com, and tonight, Thursday, March 4th, Yves Leveillé and Eri Yamamoto, both on piano, and Paul McCandless from Oregon on the oboe, the English horn, bass clarinet, soprano and soprano, sopranino saxes share the stage of La Strade for a unique concert here in Montreal. Hi, and welcome to Montreal. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, Eve, yeah. tell us about this project and how it became. I know you regularly work with the sextet. You've worked with Paul at that sextet, and I know you work with Eri, and I know you go to Arthur's Tavern in New York sometimes. It happened. Uh, it happens. Mm -hmm. So how did this project uh, happen? You know, uh, with my sextet, I decided to invite a uh, musician as a guest. And uh, when I was in New York in 2004, I met Eri Yamamoto, and we became friends. And we, I decided, uh, when I was back in Montreal, to present a show uh, with Eri. Uh, and first of all, I think it with, with, with Paul, sorry. And after that, Eri uh, joined us. But it was different show, different concept, of course. Uh, my band with Paul, and another time, my band with Eri. And uh, I decided why not to uh, try to do a show, me and my guests, but something more like chamber music, but uh, in jazz style, uh, with groove, and two pianos and uh, uh, with winds. Mm. So this is a unique concert tonight because it's yeah, the first it's time that there's... Hopefully it's the begin beginning of a... Of a beautiful knows. romance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very original. And uh, what, uh, what, Eri and Paul, what drew you to this project? Because I'm sure you have tons of offers and you have busy schedules. What, what, you know, I know Eve is charming. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I really enjoyed Eve's music uh, from the past when uh, we had done some projects with the sextet. His music is uh, uh, has some flavor of jazz, but it also has some a lot of other flavors. And uh, it go, touches classical music and some world music and some music that seems very French in a way. So there's, there's a lot of influences in the music that uh, are very uh, compatible with my background and my specialties, especially the instruments that I play. I play the oboe and the English horn and the bass clarinet, which are normally uh, classical instruments. And uh, they, find, they sound very comfortable in a classical setting. So Eve's music has some uh, this particular kind of refinement that uh, works very well with these uh, uh, woodwind instruments that, uh, that I play. And uh, that I also play the saxophone. And I felt his, uh, we speak the same language uh, mm. musically speaking. Hmm. Harry, what do, you th what do you have to say about this project? How do you? I mean, with Paul? And if uh -huh. there's no reason to say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't say no. No. That's a good. That's a great, uh, great, great uh, reason, motivation. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> can't say no. Yeah. Okay. And it's interesting because uh, the first time Eri uh, plays uh, with Paul, I think uh, ah. yes. they've never met before. Yeah, we've never oh. met before. So I it's a full circle kind yeah. of thing. Oh, great, great. I like it. It's a get together and. Fantastic for Create something, you know, something happening. unique. Oh, great. Uh, and what should we ex expect as far as the repertoire and, and ambiance? Uh, uh, I think m most of the songs are from you and from Eri. Yeah. Is that is that correct? Yeah, the program tonight is uh, music original of mine and Eri. Okay. And we asked Paul. Just I, I was very uh, confident with Paul. Uh, I know he, he can manage. Is very uh, skillful to figure out what's going on, okay. and, and, uh, and the music, my opinion, is uh, less written than usual in my case. But we have structure, of course. Mm -hmm. But we have more space for interaction and improvisation. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Uh, we uh, had two rehearsals uh, the day before. Very confident. It's very interesting what happened. Is it uh, um, easier and, and more flexible in, in this type of format as opposed to what you're doing with the sextet, where you have you know arrangement? It's a good challenge, oh. believe me. Yeah, it's a good challenge. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because you have to, uh, you, 
you know, particularly to piano, you have to figure out how to manage each music, how yeah. to play together, how to share rhythm, mm -hmm. harmony. And uh, it's the same for Paul. He has to figure out where I can find my place and, you know, and navigate uh, in this uh, context. But it's fantastic because it's for orchestra and you have, like two pianos, it's the, the orchestra and you have the featuring of woodwinds. I love it. What uh, I'm sure, hmm. hopefully, uh, I'm sure the people will like it. Hmm. And what is your, I mean, this is a question that can have an answer that can last a whole, you know, an whole hour, but what's your life and musical inspiration? Because <laughs> they're kind of all, you know, they're intertwined, you know. Yeah, your musical yeah. inspiration is also your... Yeah, well, I find that, that I tend to play with people who, that I get along with. And, okay. Uh, enjoy as human beings, and uh, I often find that the music follows suit. You know, if, if I enjoy working with a, a person in a personal way, I very often like their music, and uh, and I find that there's some kind of compatibilities that uh, crop up as I develop my relationships with people. So uh, I have a, I've, I've made an effort to become very adaptable to be able to play this kind of music and that kind of music. And I play so many instruments that each have a different sort of stylistic reference. There's always something I can find that will color the, the music of, of, of my bandmates in, in a special way. And uh, I, I find that's very satisfying. Hmm. And Ari, what what's your inspiration um, in the musical sense? The music is uh, for my life, my pri my priority in my life, number one, good sleep. Uh -huh. <laughs> number two, good food. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then music. Fantastic. And I might be able to survive without number three. However, since I was three, I started playing piano and then writing music. And then, since I moved to New York 15 years ago, and then now I'm playing with fantastic musicians in Montreal. It's fantastic. Now, number three is very necessary. It's the same as my sleeping and eating. And uh, just gives me so much colors. Uh, and I personally, I'm not good at writing what I feel in my everyday life with actual words, but through my music or music I create with, uh, with other musicians I play with, that is the best way to express what I feel or what I'm thinking and what I hope. So that's that's my life, and it, I'm still alive. So yes. it's perfect. Great. So um, it's a first uh, first concert together. Maybe it will evolve, as you were saying, into you know into some. There will be other concerts. Maybe this this project yeah, might. Yeah, but uh, we have you know me. Uh, last year we started me and Iri, uh, a project of duo piano, mm -hmm. and which is already recorded. Mm -hmm. But we have to release uh, the CD uh, uh, in May, f end of May, probably mm -hmm. on FND record. And of course, we want to play in duet. But in addition, uh, Paul is a fantastic uh, uh, context for uh, the music. It's uh, it creates something different, and I would like to promote this uh, concept of three uh, of us and uh, who knows maybe uh, the next uh, next project with an in trio you know an exit in trio but mm -hmm. you know step by step you have it's always like that when you create a new project now we have a get together tonight it's fantastic something magic happened for me <laughs> you know I have Paul I have Iri with to play here in Montreal and you know you have to be confident and after that this this concert you have to figure out what could be the next step and it's always like that and step by step things happen 